Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to go over really my favorite kind of kayak, and specifically I'm talking about the hybrid kayaks. are going to be kayaks or watercraft that are going to really blur the lines between kayak and canoe. So a lot of us grew up being in canoes, floating the rivers, floating the lakes, overnight camp trips, even fishing trips. And in the last several years, you've seen a lot of innovations in the kayak space and specifically the recreational or recreational fishing kayaks where you can carry a lot of gear, you get the performance of that sit-in kayak, but also the functionality of the sit-on-top kayaks, and that's really where these two specialize in. The two kayaks I'm talking about are the Old Town Next and the Native Ultimate FX12. These are very similar kayaks, but there are some differences there that may sway you between one or the other. I'll go over all that. I'll talk about water performance, stability, tracking, the whole nine. We'll talk about weight capacities. But anyways, let's get right into it, guys. Okay, everybody, so two, two kayaks in 2024 that I'm really excited about, and I wanted to go over these side by side. Now, I've already done a walkthrough video of the Ultimate FX12. If you want to check that out, I'll put a card up here on top of the screen if you want to click on that. Um, but the, and I'll, uh, I'll, and I'll also put it down in the description if you want to check it out. So after the video, if you want to check that video out, please do so. But uh, I want to go over these two kayaks because these are probably my favorite types of kayaks for river fishing or overnight trips, camping, anything like that. So I'm going to kind of go over both of these, but I'm going to discuss the similarities and I'll also go over some of the differences there. I'll talk about performance and all that and what kind of makes these uh, really so special in my opinion here. So both of these kind of do the same thing, but... With the Ultimate FX12, you get a little bit more, in my opinion, of a kayak. And then on the Old Town, you get a little bit more of a canoe functionality. Uh, but they both kind of serve that same purpose. So the next 2024, $1,399 here is the MSRP. It comes in at 13 feet long, 29 inches wide. It's got a weight capacity of 450 pounds. The biggest thing about this kayak is the 59 pound weight. This thing is incredibly light. Uh, so again, if this is something that if I was car topping, both of these are kayaks that you can car top very easily. You take the seat out, you throw it up on top, you throw it in the back of a vehicle, no trailer needed because let's be honest, a lot of your river accesses aren't manicured boat ramps. There are a lot of times some rough terrain and you're going to be doing some portage. So on the FX12 for 2024, you're looking at 12 feet, two inches. So a little, about a foot, foot shorter there, uh, 30 and a half inches wide. So it is shorter and maybe, I don't know, right at an inch and a half, uh, wider, but the makeup is different. So you really kind of lose that in the way the gunnels kind of come over, but the inside part. Um, a little bit more of a sit-in hybrid too. It, it's got it's got a little bit of that feel to it. Uh, one thing I love about the FX12 is the it does come from the factory with the anchor trolley installed. So a little bit more outdoors fishing kayak uh, kind of theme there. It allows you to move your anchor point from bow to stern from your seated position. You got pulleys on the ends, and you got these little tracks to kind of keep the cords from getting too crazy there. So 350 pound weight capacity on the FX12. So if you're a bigger guy, you may prefer the next a little bit more. Um, I do. I am a big fan of the seat. The seat is also high and low where you can see the little high divot there. You can move it up and forward and you can see the knobs on top of here. You can loosen those. You can move the seat forward and backward as well as your foot pedals there. 
So what this allows you to do again is it allows you to evenly distribute that weight depending on what you've got here. Uh, I, I definitely probably prefer the foot pedals here. So they're kind of like those old school, you know, full size foot and they're angled. So I can kind of, you can see how they're kind of angled there. That gives you a really nice, uh, nice position to use those if you are in that high position. And you do have foam blocking on the front and the back. That's going to give you additional flotation. It's going to help out with that, you know, if you do were to turn over, the boat's not going to swamp and fill up like a bathtub there. So let's talk about what makes these unique. What makes these two different? If you're looking at these side by side and you can't decide on which one you want to go with, what's going to be the, ter the determining factor other than budget, obviously. So again, the Old Town comes in at $200 more dollars but you're getting an extra foot. You're getting an extra 100 pounds of weight capacity. They're both going to really cut through the water very nicely. I do like the paddle performance probably a little bit better on the next, but it's not a night and day difference. Now, the FX12 has always been a personal favorite of the store, and there's a lot of people that have bought these around here because we're very much a lot of skinny water, a lot of river fishing around here. But uh, if I could really make a change to both of these, really what it would be is the rigging. So you got the bungee running across the top. I would really like to see a setup to have that across here. Obviously you can modify it, but I would really like to see something like that to kind of go over the top or maybe a skirting to fit over the top as well. Um, you know, one of our customers had kind of pointed out to me today that going through some really choppy surf or some really uh, choppy water you're going to probably bring in a little bit more through the nose. And if you had a cover, maybe just to go over just into the cross member, that may help a little bit. And I definitely agree with that. Um, but again, the way this floats. So let's look at the bottom of it. Okay, so I've always said you can tell a lot by a craft by the way the bottom looks. So you can obviously see you've got a nice little ridge line there. And it gets really flat toward the middle. So really, really nice entry point here. You've got a little bit of a keel line going across there. That will help with your straight line paddling. Really what it does is it simply just aids in that sharp keel. And on the back, same thing. you got a really nice exit point there. It's very, very different from the FX12. So native and bona fide, they've always kind of done those similar to uh, the you know the bona fide SS series, you know that little catamaran style, but it's very very subtle. So very similar, you got that nice sharp keel line. It kind of flattens out there, and then you got that channel, which is going to help. It's going to act as kind of a reverse keel, but kind of do, do the same thing. So with these here, you're getting kind of very similar performance. The biggest thing is with a better weight capacity and a longer boat, you're probably going to track a little bit better on the longer kayak. And you're probably going to sit a little bit higher in the water column, which is going to give you maybe a little bit better performance as far as spinning and turning really quickly. But man, uh, I've always, I've just, I've always enjoyed these. Uh, personally, Jackson, now Jackson also makes a really good one called the Tripper 12. The Tripper 12 is simply the recreational version of the Kilroy, the OG Kilroy. So uh, the Kilroy is their fishing lineup. Uh, it's just rigged out with gear track and a little console. But it's one of the best paddling kayaks I think Jackson has made in a really, really long time as far as for your rivers and creeks. But let's talk about performance. So why would you consider this? A lot of people um, you know, locally and really all over the country really kind of have what I call a, maybe a, it's an illogical fear of sit-in kayaks. They're afraid of the obvious where they're thinking it's going to swamp, it's going to fill up with water, I'm going to sink, I'm going to get pinned down. I have tipped over more sit-on-top kayaks than I ever have things like this. Now, canoes are a little different. Now, don't, if you've been in a canoe, or you tipped over a canoe, Canoes are designed for a little bit more adventure water, depending on what type you're in. Uh, you can see up there with the old dagger, that's a little bit more of a whitewater canoe, but you kind of catch my drift there. These are made a little bit more rec friendly. They're very, very stable, 
But what you get is you get a little bit more freedom to correct any mistakes. So if you get in, you know, you get coming up on a shoal or some some kind of rapids, you see that rock at the last minute, and we've all I think we've all done that, or most of us have probably done that, where we come up on that shoal, we see that little part at the last second, and we're not able to correct the kayak in time. Maybe it swings you sideways, maybe you come close to turning over, or maybe it just flips you over and you have the online or the uh, the on the water yard sale, as we like to call it. But I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over here real quick. But again, none of these are cheap. So whatever your budget is, if you have a paddle shop close by, please, please consider checking these out. Paddle it around, get a feel for it, get used to it. Don't judge the stability off of the first 20 or 30 seconds in it. Get a feel for it. Play around with that seating position. Move it around, but you owe it to yourself to really try these out. Get a feel for it and find out what you're missing there because I promise you, before I have one, before I had one and take it down the river all the time, I would have never considered it until I actually took one out and just kind of realized what I was missing there. Okay, so I hope this maybe taught you a little bit, maybe some things that you didn't already know about these hybrid kayaks, what they specialize in, how they handle, so on and so forth. But uh, don't leave just yet. Click on this video here if you want to see my interview with Blake Young, the president and CEO of New Canoe Kayaks. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. You might just enjoy yourself. So anyways, guys, thanks for coming by and we'll see you on the next video.